hello students welcome to engineers academy do subscribe engineers academy if you haven't subscribed it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a trolley that moves along a horizontal beam is acted upon by two forces as shown knowing that angle alpha is 25 degrees this angle alpha is 25 degrees determined by trigonometry the magnitude of the force p so that the resultant force exerted on the trolley is vertical so we have to find this p force magnitude if the resultant is acting in the vertical direction and we have to find the resultant magnitude as well so let's say that this is our free body diagram and we are given that this uh, 1600 newton force is making 15 degrees at point a with the horizontal like this and we are given this p for uh, the angle of this p force with the vertical and that angle is 25 degrees so now let's draw these forces so we have 1600 newton force which is acting at an angle of 15 degrees with the horizontal this is 1600 newton and the resultant is it is said that the resultant is vertical so we have to draw the resultant in the vertical direction first so this is my resultant and so this means that the the vector sum of this 600 uh, 1600 newton force and the sum of this p force by head to tail rule they must give us a resultant in the vertical direction so let's say that this is that p force which is acting from the head of 1600 newton force until the uh, head of the resultant so this is that p force and this p force is making this angle with the vertical and that angle is angle alpha and it is given is 25 degrees in the problem statement this a represents angle alpha so this alpha is 25 degrees so now if i draw a horizontal line here if we consider this as a horizontal line so if this is 15 degrees then this is 15 degrees so we can say that we have that 15 degrees angle here since this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles if this line and this line are parallel similarly if uh, if this is 25 degrees then this whole angle is 90 degrees so this angle is 90 minus 25 so this will be 75 90 minus 25 this is uh sorry this is 65 so this angle is 65 degrees and now we can find the sum of both of these so this is 65 plus 15 65 plus 15 this gives me 80 so now the angle between this 1600 newton force and that p force if they are joined by head to tail rule this angle is how much this angle is 80 so let's say that this whole angle is Eighty degrees. Now, if if this angle is twenty five degrees, then this angle is twenty five degrees as well, since both of these angles are alternate angles. So we can say that this is twenty five degrees. And similarly, if this R is vertical, so this is ninety degrees, and this angle is fifteen degrees. So we know this angle. This is ninety minus fifteen. So ninety minus 15 this angle is 75 degrees so we can say that this angle is 75 degrees so now we have this diagram this is 1600 newton this is p force and this is the vertical resultant this angle is 80 this is 75 and this is 25 now we can find the this p force magnitude by using the law of sines so using law of sines we can say that p divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this 75 degrees 
this is 75 angles so sine of 75 degrees equals to 1600 we can only use this 1600 newton since we do not know the magnitude of the resultant so we will use 1600 newton and the opposite angle so 1600 divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is 25 so sine of 25 degrees and now multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 75 So P force is equal to 1600 sine of 75 divided by sine of 25. This gives me 3656.9. So P is approximately equal to 3657 Newton. Similarly, we can find the resultant magnitude by using the law of sines again. So now we can say that R divided by the sine of the opposite angle which is this 80 degrees so sine of 80 degrees equals to 1600 divided by the sine of the opposite angle so this is 1600 and this is 25 so sine of 25 and now multiplying both sides of equation by sine of 80 so r equals to 1600 sine of 80 divided by sine of 25 this gives me r equals to 3728 approximately newtons so this is how uh, we can find uh, the magnitude of force p and the magnitude of the resultant so if the magnitude of this force p is 3657 and, and if it is making uh, 25 degrees with the vertical the resultant will be vertical and will have a magnitude of 3728 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics by bear and johnston